What, no buffs? What kind of premium deal is this? Materia Hunter Yuffie's Trustmaster Reward is a materia that gives your unit a human and machine killer plus, but only if they're carrying a throwing weapon or a fist. One's a bit more common than the other. If only we had a good throwing weapon. Her Super Trustmaster Reward is a good two-handed throwing weapon. It boasts Undead Killer plus one, and when equipped onto Yuffie, gives her 500 extra attack. On to her active abilities. Throw is a premium ability, but it's just not steel. Elemental Burst, Earth, gives Yuffie a whopping 150% Earth Amplification buff. Fill Limit Burst, fills her Limit Burst. Giant Shuriken Throw deals flexible damage that chains a boat and strike. Landslide Shuriken deals stronger Earth damage that chains a Stardust Ray, and inflicts a 135% Earth Imperil. This is what you get for crossing a ninja, who boosts Yuffie's earth damage by 30%, give her a super lambda burst buff without the lambda burst, and sharpen their damage modifiers. Windstorm inflicts a 130% wind imperil and deals wind damage that chains of a triple casted absolute mirror of equity. As a result, it can't be used if anything else. Mug is a super awesome ability, but it's just not steel. Mirage Plus lets her team evade two attacks. Passives. With her Trustmaster Reward or Super Trustmaster Reward equipped, Yuffie gains a whopping 1,250 attack, plus a killer plus one bonus against all species. This passive is a tremendous addition, though notably otherwise without EX plus two, she'll only have a lead on Bird Killer. Still, she does meet half the cap for limit burst damage and physical evasion, plus a small limit burst regen. She prefers to carry a single weapon, meaning half the cap to the chain limit boost. At the start of the battle, she'll automatically activate Preemptive Limit Burst Boost, giving her Limit Burst a significant damage modifier boost for the first 5 turns. Her normal attack hits the enemy, and fills her Limit Burst gauge by 1 tenth. At EX plus 2 she gets Warring Spirit, 500 attack, and Omni Killer plus 1. Her elemental resistance in this form is also quite nice. Let's look at her Limit Burst. Bloodbath, holy moly, will inflict a 45% throwing weapon in peril, a 80% defense and spirit break, a 130% earth in peril, and deuce earth damage. Time to change forts. Yuffie's Brave Shift has a 3 turn duration and a 3 turn cooldown. On to her active abilities. Fire Ninjutsu deals fire damage that chains a button strike, and inflicts a 130% fire in peril. The other elements do the same thing, with the same numbers, but with different elements. Passives. Yuffie actually loses some physical evasion in this form in exchange for a whopping 1000 attack. Her cool elemental resistance is also gone. Let's look at her limit burst. It inflicts a 130% earth imperil and deals self-chaining earth damage to all enemies. Let's rank brave abilities. She has one, it just raises damage. Time to make a damage rotation. On turn one, cast this is what you get for crossing a ninja and double cast landslide shuriken. On turn two, triple cast landslide shuriken. You'll be doing this until her limit burst is ready, shouting the ninja thing whenever it's available. In fact, normal attacking would probably fill her gauge faster, especially if you build her that way. Regardless, once it's ready, use her limit burst. Then, activate her brave shift. Cast elemental burst, earth, fill limit burst, and this is what you get for crossing a ninja. On the next turn, use her limit burst. Triple cast landslide shuriken and then you're forced to switch back. From here, Fill her limit burst gauge as you wait for her brave shift to become available once again. So, EX2. As with all premium units, EX plus 2 grants a plethora of bonus passes. Extra stats, Omni Killer plus 1, and Warring Spirit. The latter is especially useful in allowing Yuffie to make optimal use of her preemptive limit burst boost, not to mention just using her limit burst right off the bat. Her Super Trust Master reward is optimal for her, and strong for everyone else, though of course that amazing killer is nevertheless niche. EX plus 3 gives you her premium vision card. Though it certainly has premium level stats, the increasing rate of appearance of bonus stats makes this card less enticing for anyone outside of the Final Fantasy VII series. That's not to say the bonus passes are bad, it's just going to be hard to compete with a deficit of 500 attack. Not to mention it's also expensive. So how good is Materia Hunter Yuffie? She's a good unit, but a terrible premium. Not terrible as in she's bad or weak, but more so that her kit's just annoying. As an earth damage dealer, she's got everything going for her. A powerful weapon in peril, amazing damage modifiers, excellent stats, a grandest amplification buff, and potentially powerful teams depending on who you've got. A lot of her speed issues are solved at EX plus 2, but even if you can't manage to reach it you can still boost her limit burst gauge fill rate by building her that way in her base form. 
The largest issue here lies in the fact that she's stuck to Earth, and though she has access to other elements, they're just inferior choices to her limit burst. The real irritating part lies in the fact that their modifiers are clearly stronger than her Earth abilities, but in the grand scheme of things, they're not that strong at all. Without any special equipment, her ability modifiers are worse than Gao's, and that stymied potential is really annoying in the face of her price tag. And even if you wanted to use another element for whatever reason, her Brave Shift is on a time limit and a cooldown. And for what? Having Mug and Mirage Plus is potentially more useful than Weak Ninjutsu, but even if you cut away the excess flab, you've still got the strongest earth damage dealer in the game. Thanks for watching, and if you liked this video, leave a like and subscribe. Comment below if you summon Material Hunter Yuffie. With the upcoming leader skill stat inflation, Yuffie is going to have a hard time holding up until someone suitable appears. Still, that CG limit burst is really cute. Why is this called Bloodbath?